wanted to show you, um, I, I'm working on some wrapping some gifts and packaging up some things quick and cute. So sometimes in our catalog, there are, and I'm sure you've heard me say this before, there are hidden gems. And so um, this is one of them. We have these round tins. Hi, Lisa. They're on page 68 and they're featured in the back with the press on stamp set. Hi, Renee. But they're perfect for gift giving as well. So what I have done is I have paired this with one of my favorite sets, which honestly I never thought would be my favorite. I'll, I'll say that out loud. Um, it's the Poinsettia Place Suite. And I um, have used this a lot more than I ever expected, okay? So what I have done, it, I, I've used some of the designer series paper, which we have a great sale going on right now. It's our year end clearance and it lasts till the, um, the end of the year, but the items are on first come first serve basis. So the, um, the DSP is on sale, the specialty paper was on sale, but it's already gone. So the beaded pearls were on sale for like $2 and 80 cents. So um, you might wanna check that out. There's also some, um, items on the clearance rack that have been updated too. So I, I love a good good sale, deals with Dory. So um, yeah, check those out. So this is one of our little tins, looks like this, all right? And um, you can put anything inside of it. So I put some candy in mine and um, the little Ghirardelli snowmen and they were white and red striped. So um, they're perfect and they coordinate just very nicely with the uh, the whole package there. Okay, so let me show you how I made this quick and cute little tin. What I did is I started out with some of our poinsettia designer series paper, okay? And um, it's obviously double-sided. You could use either side. And so our largest circle die that I have um, fits right inside of the tin. So I wanted it to be on the outside. I wanted it to cover the whole top. So what I did is I just turned it upside down, kind of like, you know, kindergarten, and I just traced around the top and I cut it out, okay? So if you don't mind, you know, the silver showing, I didn't want the silver showing. Um, you know, you can trace it, which is what I did. You can see here, I cut it out with my paper snips. So let me show you here my nice little circle. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put it right on the top of the tin with um, my Stampin' Seal Plus. Okay, and I'm going to focus on the center and a little bit on the sides. Hopefully you guys can see okay. And um, I'm gonna just place that right on top of the tin. Okay, it's gonna be a little bit larger. So what I did, is I took, you can see, um, you can go ahead and kind of place your fingers there and just gently um, encourage that to stick to the top of your tin. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I just trimmed around. It is a little bit larger, but our paper snips are great. And we are just going to um, trim the top there and give that a nice little haircut. Okay, we can all use a haircut, right? Every once in a while. <laughs> so just trim that up. And then it fits perfectly right on the top, okay? So that's all you do for that piece. And you could use any DSP, um, and then you simply just place that on top. So then the next um, thing I used were the poinsettia dies, okay? They come in three sizes. So we have small, medium, and large. So I stamped and cut out with my dies, two large, two medium. I cut out extras, but you need two large, two medium, and two small, okay? That's what you're gonna need. And um, this is one of those, if the tins come in um, packs of, I believe it's three, it might be four. Um, you know, you can cut all of your pieces at once and then just kind of sit down and put them all together, all right? So what I have done on this is I first started out with some gold twine and I'm gonna tie it shut um, before I add my poinsettias on top. 
And I know if you guys have stamped with me before, you know that I like to double the twine. Okay, so I'm gonna double it and I am going to tie it. And I'm gonna tie it off to the side because my poinsettia is gonna go right in the center. It's gonna be my focal point. So I'm gonna, and I double it because it's very thin and I want, you know, you wanna be able to see it. So I think it looks nice when it's doubled. If you wanna single it, you go right ahead. Whatever makes you happy, okay? But let me pull this here. There we go. And so we just have, not quite, I keep pulling the wrong one. There we go. Um, so we have our little bow there, okay? And then all I need to do is just slip that off. And I'm going to not use those paper snips. I'm gonna use these, they're nice and sharp. And um, just trim up the edge there, okay? So we have our, our little piece right there. Okay, now we're gonna start with our poinsettias and we're gonna use the large ones first. And I'm gonna use my bone folder. Bone folder is great for folding, but it's also great for um, breaking down the fibers of your paper and uh, manipulating your paper. So um, you have this, this one here, you're gonna start, um, and I'm just gonna place that right on the top, okay? And I'm gonna use my Stampin' Seal Plus for that. And once I get started, then I will add dimensionals as well because like I said, if you've stamped with me before, I love my dimensionals. But for the bottom layer, I'm just gonna simply take the, um, use my Stampin' Seal Plus, okay? So, and you can fold it up a little bit too, depending on how, um, here's, you know, here's the original. But if you want it to be a little bit more, um, you know, And so you're just going to alternate just like that. So it curls it and you can come back and curl it again too um, once you've started to put it together. All right, so there's our outside layer. So I'm gonna come back with my mediums, my medium poinsettia, and I'm gonna take my bone folder and just roll it. Be careful you don't, um, you don't get too, don't manhandle it because this is what happens. Um, I got a little too aggressive with my poinsettia and I ripped one of the petals off, so we don't want that to happen. Um, so you can always just kind of curl it a little bit with your fingers, but the bone folder really comes in handy and gives you that nice, nice fold. So when I get to the second layer, I'm gonna put those on with dimensionals, okay? Let's see. And I'm gonna, I just want smaller ones, so I'm gonna use the outside of um, my dimensionals and I'm gonna go ahead and put that on with that small piece there okay and I'm going to let's see right there and see how the dimensional just it lifts it up and just brings it to life just a little bit more then I'm gonna come back here with my uh, um, second piece and I'm gonna fold it fold it fold it or just bend it Another thing you can do, I'll show you after I'm done, another way that you can um, kind of manipulate your paper and um, just give a different look. All right, so we're gonna just alternate. So there's our, um, our next layer there, okay? And then our last two are gonna be our center pieces. Okay, and they're the smallest pieces. So you're just gonna fold those and bring those towards you, okay? And again, I'm gonna use a little piece of um, the dimensional on the side. And I am going to add that right there in the center. Okay, and it just, it raises it right up off the can and just really, um, like I said, brings that, like that 3D look. Okay, last one. So again, you have two of each one. See, that's what you don't want to do. I get a little excited and then I, I tear things. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and fold those up. Okay, just like that. All right, so there's our last piece. This one I'm going to put on flat because I've used dimensionals on the last couple. So um, I am just going to put that, on, that one on with some stamp and seal and I'm just going to put it right there in the center. Okay, and then I'm going to add right to the top of my little creation. 
how beautiful is that? And like I said, you can go back and you can pull the, um, the petals up or um, however you would like to to make them look. But it, it kind of gives the points at a totally different look when you, um, you know, bend the, the, little, the little petals there. All right. Then we have these beautiful little pearl accents. Okay. And those I'm going to put on with, you can put them on with a glue dot or you can even put them on with your Stampin' Seal Plus. And so um, I'm just gonna put some Stampin' Seal right in the center and add it like so, okay? Just like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and we are gonna add our leaves. And I did the same thing with the leaves. I used my bone folder and just kind of turn the edges a little bit, okay? So it's going in the same direction as the poinsettia. And let's see, we're gonna put one over here. And then we're gonna do another one. And those um, I stamped in garden green. And you can see I just did a whole sheet. And um, I put them on the same block. So you can stamp them, there's a, um, there are two different leaves. So I put them on the same block. You can stamp them on, at the same time. So work, uh, work smarter, not harder. And then you can cut them out at the same time too. So you can see where I've, I've cut out the leaves there. Okay. And I am just going to add those with my stamp and seal. And you can take your bone folder and just press in um, to make sure that you have the, um, the leaf is attached. Okay, and then um, the last but not least thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna add a little tag. And this is actually from our tag buffet um, set. And I stamped the Happy Holidays, which the Happy Holidays comes directly from the Poinsettia Petals Bundle. Okay, and um, it's this one right here. So I stamped that on one of the little tags there and I'm just going to simply, what I like to do is I put it kind of right underneath the bow and um, I don't put it through the hole. You can if you want, but um, I like to just stick it right underneath so it looks like you've tied it in there, but you really haven't, okay? And then that's your little, um, your little tin. Okay, so you can make those up. And again, the tins are featured in the back and um, they are a quick and cute way to decorate a gift. There's four in a pack. Okay, they're food safe. So if you wanted to put something, um, you know, some fudge or some um, candy that you've made, you could put those in there. But um, that's just a great way to to dress up your little tins, okay? Um, oh, and I wanted to show you another way that you can, um, and is you can just crumple these. It gives you a totally different look. You have to be gentle, um, but, and then you open them, and that gives you kind of the, the more withered, um, maybe that's after the season point setup, but um, it again breaks down um, the fibers, and um, you know, it's another way you can layer them and you can put them together. So that's just another way that you can, but this way with uh, the bone folder, you can fold them up and um, you know, you can use the, fold them and, and bring them to life a little bit more and make them 3D. So, um, so that is my noon project for the day, for the day, what she make in Wednesday. Um, if you need anything, you can shop 24 seven Dory Schneider .net. And I know Lisa, I'm crumpling, but I didn't crumple on my project. I was just showing you an alternate way that you could do it. Um, and the hostess code for the month is listed there too. So, and there's some great sales going on now. I will be back at seven o'clock tonight for, um, the 12 days of Christmas. I am the eighth day of Christmas tonight. So join me and um, check in to see another quick and cute project that you can make for the upcoming holidays. So I hope you guys are having a great day and I can't wait to stamp with you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.